When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs. They're bringing crime. They're rapists. They're rapists. An illegal immigrant is in jail tonight for the kidnapping and sexual abuse of a 13-year-old girl who law enforcement says he knew. Investigators say it happened in Fayette County, but they also say four more victims are in neighboring Winnesheet County. The man in jail is 23-year-old Rodrigo Sandoval Estrada, a man who's been living in the town of Ashen with a fake identity. Two men are being held in the Travis County Jail tonight, arrested for the aggravated sexual assault of a child. And we want to warn you, the details of this story are graphic and might not be appropriate for younger viewers. Fox Events' Alex Villarreal joins us live in the studio with the latest. Alex? Gloriana, the bond for the suspects is $30,000 each plus an immigration detainer. Jim, an arrest warrant has been issued for Alberto Suarez. Investigators say he is the man who approached the victim who was sitting at that bus stop, grabbed her, dragged her all the way over here between the SEPTA truck and that building, and allegedly raped her. Police say Alberto Suarez is the man captured on surveillance video, pantless and running from 8th and Race after a brutal sexual assault. We know that he was in the city for a short period of time, uh, no more than a couple of months. Investigators say Suarez left his pants at the crime scene along with a wallet and a Mexican ID inside with the name Dario Lopez. But police soon learned it was a fake. Well, disturbing is right. Six men are now charged with first-degree rape for what allegedly happened in this home. We are told by even a veteran detective what the 30-year-old woman endured here was just horrific. As alleged, she was held against her will and raped by as many as eight different men. It's an absolute tragedy that uh, someone would be subjected to this kind of uh, abuse. I mean, it's just... It's uh, unbelievable that uh, someone could take advantage of a person in this manner. So far, these six men, ranging in age from 18 to 28, have been charged, but police say they are looking for more. This man, 37-year-old Guadalupe Gutierrez Suarez. Suarez is actually an illegal immigrant and is now behind bars in the Fremont County Jail on another rape charge. Since we broke this story exclusively yesterday, we've been checking with sources throughout the North Valley for more information. The criminal complaint against Gutierrez Suarez says the rape of the 10-year-old happened between November and January. As we told you last night, the girl gave birth at Madison Memorial this weekend and both mother and child are doing well. K2 News has confirmed the two men accused of murdering a teenage girl in Milwaukee are in the United States illegally. They're going to accuse you of murder in the first degree, burglary in the first degree, assault and battery with a deadly weapon. 18-year-old Aaron Lacasello made his first appearance before a judge on a closed circuit beat from the county jail. The courtroom was filled with family and friends of four-year-old Dakota Lane. Investigators say Lacasello broke into the boy's home and stabbed him 36 times with a pair of scissors, then attacked his pregnant mother. She survived. The following is just a horrible way to start off your newscast. A babysitter in Newton was supposed to be watching this two-year-old, but decided to leave him with her brother. This is the brother, Armando Martinez, an illegal immigrant now charged with felony child abuse for beating and killing the toddler. Well, the man charged with killing a Richland baby is back in Benton County. Jose Aguilar went in front of a judge this morning. Aguilar pleaded not guilty to manslaughter charges. He was assigned a public defender and is set for trial in August. The police say their investigation is ongoing. No word from the prosecutor on whether the charges could be upped or additional charges tacked on. Aguilar is a level one sex offender with a conviction in Kansas in the late 90s.
And on this other highly inflammatory remark, they're rapists. The data doesn't at all support this categorical statement that undocumented immigrants from Mexico are responsible for large numbers of rapes. Sex crime stats are difficult to track in part because it's estimated only 36% of rapes are ever reported. Trump, though, has continued to double down on the rape comments. What's your reaction to his recent comments that some Mexican immigrants are rapists and criminals? I'm very disappointed in those comments, and I, I feel very um, bad and uh, very disappointed um, with him and with uh, the Republican Party for not responding immediately and saying, enough, stop it. Um, but they are all in the you know, in the same general area on immigration. As far as criminal, they're going to be out so fit. If I win, you know, we have tremendous problems. I just gave you an article where an illegal alien ran over today in, up in Texas, a policeman three times just kept running them over. Look, we have problems. You have Kate in San Francisco. You have the veteran uh, soldier, the, this wonderful woman who was 66 years old, a retired vet, who was raped, sodomized, and killed by an illegal, an illegal alien, or as they would say, an illegal immigrant. And this happened three weeks ago in California, but it's happening all over. It's a big problem. Crime is a big problem. You also have wonderful people here. But, but so, so they came in, point. excuse me, they came in illegally. They are here illegally. But Number how? one, we're gonna build a wall. We're going to have people come well, into the, the country. I, I agree, okay. but let's go through it. We're going to build a wall. It's going to be a real wall. It's going to be a wall that's powerful and that people aren't going to be going under or up or around or anything else. It's going to be a real wall. And we're going to have a door in the wall. People are going to come into the country legally. And we're going to hopefully get a lot of people coming in, and they're all going to come in legally. We're going to get rid of the bad ones because we have some really bad ones in here right now. And you know that gang members in L.A., you look at some of these gangs, they're 100% illegal immigrants. They're going to be gone, okay? And they're going to be gone fast. And they're not going to be in our prisons for us to take care of them. Our prisons are bursting with illegals right now. What? You have right now, Aaron, millions of people that want to come into the country. Millions. They're on a waiting list. They've gone through documentation. They've gone through all sorts of things. And they're waiting on a list, in some cases, for years. Yes. And it's very unfair to them. It's very unfair. Now, you can do the work visa thing in terms of the grapes because I have people, friends with the grapes and they may need people. We can do lots of different things. For the agriculture. But to come here and stay here, you have to come in to the country legally. We either have a country or yeah. we don't. Also do E-Verify, you do know that. You can do E-Verify where the employers aren't gonna be hiring them and then everyone's gonna go back. That's one way of doing it so that you don't have the problem. You do E-Verify where an employer has a big problem if he hires these people and they're gonna all go back of their own volition. And, and don't forget, we're taking tremendous numbers of jobs from people that were born in this country. And you understand that because when you look at the roles, you have 100 million people that potentially want to work and they can't find jobs. They don't want to pick grapes, though. Maybe not. And you know what? We're going to have, we can solve that with work visas where they come in and they work legally, they pay taxes, and then they go out. I'm all for that. I so, think that's true because I agree with you. They might not want to pick grapes, not their thing. I mean, you know, they don't want to do that. And that's okay. But we'll have a work visa where they can come in, work, and then at the right time, they have to go back in. I mean, he's not saying that we're all rapists. It only makes common sense. They're sending us not the right people. I have family members that are involved in this stuff, and they are in a state jail at this moment, and I would love nothing better but for them to be deported. Mr. Trump has a point. There's no accountability of, of, of what they're doing. Uh, there's no accountability of what they've done. I'm Hispanic and I vote for Mr. Trump!